so yeah this is a um, very simple part um, what I'm doing is I am just adding more white I'm working around the shape still but I'm really just like blocking blocking layers in you can see that where we created these kind of ridge like um, lines when we were working with the knife from the beginning from the first clip we're we're fleshing out the shape oh it looks like a kind of a doggy type badger cross species interbreeding kind of thing um, but yeah as you can see it's like there's already shapes taking place so like I said if you let your brain do the work you see it starts seeing all kinds of things and that's where we can work out where we can work out excuse me and yeah and then I'm just gonna mark out so always saying are you still filming still filming or you just keep filming um, and now I'm just marking out some boundaries that you know it goes against all all the rules and how dare you go against the rules of drawing boundaries around my art and my profession Spartans what is your profession my profession what is your profession I'm a painter but anyway there you go another little tip the easiest way to start painting because if you just keep putting more and more layers something's gonna happen okay it's gonna get a little bit more um, detailed later on but this is the basics of it as you can see as I've, as I have taught you my minions my little legions of followers um, anyone can paint it's just having using your instincts at this stage using abstraction to allow your mind your mind's creativity to be let free like a beast like an angry beast look at how angry he is with his knife thrashing away like a thrasher in a heavy metal band with a guitar and just getting ready to do the big riff and the shredding shredding on the guitar anyway he carried away himself so as you can see we're just um, still fleshing out the shapes but we're oh why have I done that why have I had purple anyway so you can keep adding the same color so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get more of a, like this translucent effect but you're we did the tabula rasa we got down our basic paint and now we're building up layers we're we've got a blueprint going on here and you'll see we're going to use that later on and get a bit more complicated lots of shapes there there's some interesting things going on still looks a bit crappy though in general it's not like it's hardly a masterpiece but you'll wait to see what will happen I know you can't wait to see the mysteries the great mysteries provided by the artist in the midst Oh, so I, I'm pretty sure I remember when I was doing this I was like this is the ugliest color ever and what I like to call this is dirty colors because there's no beauty in this at all you're just whacking it on you're just blending in but I can assure you if you keep adding colors you're gonna end up with some really interesting shades which you never thought possible because it doesn't matter what two colors you mix together it doesn't matter how dirty they are they're gonna they're gonna work but is whether it's pleasing to the eye to you or the viewer <laughs>